you are welcome back to my channel today we have an amazing question to solve so we are asked to solve for x please this diagram is not drawn to scale no not at all all right so we are asked to solve for the value of x here is 90 degrees and here is 90 degrees as well okay now note that from here if we take this straight this is not a diagonal of this shape the same thing here if we take it straight it's not the diagonal of this shape but let us try to get the diagonal of the shape first okay remember that this is going to be a freehand sketch so please pardon me so i'll try as much as possible to get something so this is me trying to okay please let's accept this now this is the diagonal of this shape okay all right now let's call that dotted line y if we call that dotted line y now let me draw out the right angle triangle that we just formed if here is a b c and d okay so a c b let's draw out a c b so this is a this is c this is b and recall that b c is x and that a b is x as well not drawn to scale please and let's call the diagonal y okay um using the pythagorean theorem the pythagorean theorem states that the hypotenuse which happens to be the longest side of a right angle triangle in this case ac when you square it it is equal to the square the sum of the square of the other sides of the triangle so according to pythagorean using pythagorean theorem sorry so using pythagorean theorem now we can say that y squared is equal to x squared plus x squared right so we have y squared is equal to the common term here is x squared right x squared divided by itself is one plus x squared divided by itself is one so we have y squared is equal to x squared multiplied by 2. Permit me to clean this. So we can say that y squared is equal to 2x squared. Now let us find the value of y. Okay, let's not lose focus. The question says we should find the value of x, but we can get that from y. Okay, all right, now let's take square root. Take square root of both sides. So if we do that, we have square root of y squared is equal to square root of 2x squared. Now, remember that square root of x squared, the square we cancel the root sign and we have x, okay? So that means that here, this we cancel this, we have y is equal to, now when you have square root of a, b, Using the law of sword, it is equal to square root of A multiplied by square root of B. That means that we can write this as Y is equal to square root of Y is equal to square root of 2 multiplied by square root of X squared. So Y is equal to square root of 2 multiplied by now square we cancel the root and we are left with x so our y is equal to x root 2 now let's make x the subject of the formula because the equation says we should find x right so x to get x we divide both sides by root 2 so we have y over root 2 is equal to x root 2 divided by root 2. 
So we have y over root 2 is equal to root 2 we divide itself to give us 1 and 1 times x we give us x. So this is equation 1. Now this is x in terms of y. So that means that if we can find the value of y, then we have gotten the value of x, right? Now, if this is the first time you are seeing this amazing channel, please click the subscription button, turn on the notification bell, so that you don't miss our videos, all right? We upload our videos as often as we can, by the grace of God. So tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch, okay? Yes, I think so. <laughs> now, leave us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Now, look at this. We have gotten our x in terms of y. So let me write it here. That x is equal to y divided by root 2. Now, permit me to clean the board. Okay. Now, how do we get the value of y? That is the main issue here. The main issue is how do we get the value of y? Now, let us look at this diagram again. If we draw out our, this thing, let's draw out this whole um, diagram, okay? So this is our diagonal, this. Now remember that we have this, we have this, and we have this, right? So this is A, this is C. Now this is 90, this is 90, okay? And from here to here is 12, from here to here is 3, and from here to here is 9. Now, remember that this place is 90 degrees, and this is 90 degrees. That is for a reason. For them to say that this is 90 and this is 90, it is for a reason. Now, why? Let us drop this 90. Let us drop a line that is parallel to this. Okay, so this line, if we trace it, this way okay now let us drop another line parallel to this do you understand okay now since this is 90 degrees and this line is parallel to this line then this is nine as well right so this place is parallel to this that means this particular shape here is a rectangle and for a rectangle okay the opposite sides are equal so this place should be nine right and this place should be three are you seeing what i'm saying now let us ignore this let us ignore this and we just formed another right angle triangle okay and remember that ac ac is our y remember ac is our y now let us use the pythagorean theorem again to get the value of y so using the Pythagorean theorem, AC squared should be equal to A, let's call this D, okay? Okay, we have D already. So let's call this T, okay? So it's going to be AT squared plus CT squared, okay? So AC squared, which happens to be our Y, right? Y squared is equal to... Now, AT squared, remember that AT is 12 plus 9, right? Which is 21. So, it's going to be 21 squared plus CT squared, that is 3 squared. So, Y squared is equal to, now, 21 squared is 441, right? So, we have 441 plus 3 squared is 9. Now, we have Y squared is equal to, so this will give us 500, sorry, 450, 450, okay? Now, permit me to clean this, we don't need the diagram anymore. Hope you are enjoying this video. Hope you are enjoying this video. So we are, at this point, y squared is equal to 450. So take square root. Of both sides if we do that we have square root of y squared is equal to square root of 450 okay that means y is equal to square root of 450 now let us simplify square root of 450 let's simplify it if you are my follower you should already get used to this okay so I'll go with um 
what can go here two we have two divide this we have two to remain that one divide then we have five now let's go with um five right so five divide this we have four four remainder two divide two into five we have five five we go again to give us nine three we go to give us three three we go to give us one now if you look at this this means that we can write this as two, five times five is twenty five three times three is nine so remember that we can express root four fifty as root two times root twenty five times root 9 okay so y is equal to square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 25 multiplied by square root of 9 okay so y is square root of 2 multiplied by now square root of 25 is 5 and square root of 9 is 3 so that means that That means we can write y to be equal to 5 times 3 is 15. So we have 15 root 2. 15 root 2. Okay? But <laughs> this is where it becomes amazing. But our x is y over root 2. Okay? But x is equal to y divided by root 2. So x is equal to 15 root 2 divided by root 2. So this will divide itself and we have x is equal to 15 units. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.